Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison, if you're new. I am also an author. I've written two books so far. If you would like to see what those are about, you can uh, check them out. All the links are in the description box below. So welcome, welcome back everyone. Um, we, were, we are looking at the end of summer. So today's theme is uh, the ocean, summer, mermaid tarot. Um, Man, the ocean has had a lot to say. Um, I'm using the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck. There's a lot of mermaids here in the Legendary Ladies. I'm going to be using that deck as well. We all know that the moon affects the ocean, so we're using the Moonology deck and the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards. You might get a double goddess, um, but we just want more of this good mother energy. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you. Aquarius, 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 I know you've heard that song, you guys are all rolling your eyes right now probably, <laughs> this is the dawning of the age, okay so I am only on three social media platforms here on YouTube. I'm also on Facebook and now on TikTok. I'm doing two minute summaries of these readings. So if you are um, over here from TikTok, welcome, welcome. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also follow me on TikTok, guys. I just love to see more followers and subscribers. All right, so um, I also do offer um, personal readings. If you would like to purchase one, you could message me on Messenger or you could send me an email at the email address in the description box. Also, my PayPal link is also in that description box if you'd like to leave me a donation or a tip. Thank you all. Thank you so much. What's going on with Aquarius? Clear messages for Aquarius, please. First card out, Ten of Pentacles. This is about an inheritance. This is about your family home. This is about a large sum of money. This is a happy ending, the, the happy ending card. Um, they've got a big feast in front of them. Um, this is abundance coming in, the harvest. And we are getting close to autumn here. So Queen of Swords, Libra energy. This is a feminine who learns from her pain. She doesn't just, um, she doesn't let the tough things that she goes through to jade her hang on let me just get that card all right so this is the knight of wands and he fell sideways okay so this is an energy that i feel like is on it's it's sitting there but it's neither right or reverse so um i feel like it's going to depend on the energy of the card that comes out underneath it all right so ten of pentacles ten of pentacles Okay, when they come out like this, I feel like the energy isn't ready to be read yet, so I just leave it like that. Wow, okay. Oh, justice. Um, that's interesting. This is the card for Libra, and so is this. This is the minor arcana card for Libra. Whether you, you are a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. This is the minor arcana card for Libra and then now what we have is justice that is the major arcana card for Libra so very strong Libran influence here so far let's see what comes out under this oh my goodness guys I thought this was the knight of wands this is the king holy moly hang on here so this would be a Leo but it could also be an Aries or a Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, though. This is somebody who is very passionate, somebody who might, might have a fiery temper. Okay, Ten of Wands in the reverse, okay? This is about you dropping a heavy load, okay? Look at this. She's carrying this heavy load. Um, this is when you have a burden. You're tired. You're exhausted. But when it's upside down, when it is reversed, that means you've dropped that load. You're ready to move on. You want to drop a heavy burden let's see what comes out under this ten of pentacles judgment okay so another ending okay so this is 10 and this is 20 okay so this is all about an ending it is time for you to have this happy ending there is an element of resurrection here okay 
but um, yeah, it's it's time for you to have a happy family home. It's time for your inheritance to come in maybe. Um, sometimes you inherit from the older folks in your family. This is your blood family or those who raised you, your guardians, whatnot, where you come from. And so this is a big ending, but this is a happy ending. This is, um, it's time. There, you may even need to make a decision because the, there's a judgment that needs to be made, okay? Now, again, here, I'm just going to show you this um, Libra energy is right in the middle of all this, okay? And we've got the Queen of Swords here. Like I said, she, she can be... Um, now, Swords is all about intellect and all air energies, such as you, Aquarius, and Libra and Gemini, um, I'm a Libra with a Gemini moon. We tend to be a little bit blunt um, and say sharp words every now and then um, when we're being truthful. Um, but she's in the upright and she's got the justice in the upright right below her. So I feel like this, this is a feminine energy. It can be a man too, don't worry, you know. This is a feminine energy who is getting divine justice. This is the card of the divine, the, uh, the ma major arcana. That's what this is, is a major arcana card. This is all about the soul. So this person is in the upright. There could be a Libra involved in your life. And this is, um, she's in your life because the bottom of it is, is that she's supposed to be. Okay, she or he is supposed to be. Now, I'm getting pulled to this. There's knowledge that's being... There's still knowledge. See how this is heavier than this, this um, dagger or um, athame. There's some heavy knowledge. And I think that there, there's something about clarity here. There's something about the Ace of Swords. So let's see what this is. The Fool. Wow. Okay. So this is heavy Aries energy now. So this could be an Aries this person just seems to be floating. This is a king, a masculine energy, um, someone who's very passionate, um, lots of energy, uh, very smart and intuitive, or they can have a very fiery temper, they can be manipulative, they can be very um, mean in a way. And I just feel like when they have this, when this card is sideways, I feel like this is hovering over you. Okay, and now what we've got here is the fool. It's hovering. This person is hovering over your new beginning. And this is also Aries energy. This is the, the type of energy that, I mean, she looks happy. You know, this is the little mermaid. She wants a new life, and it's completely different. She's taking a, this leap of faith by coming out of the water. Um, so there's a, a new beginning that you are supposed to have. Okay. This whole lower row is major arcana. The whole lower row is all about this new divine life um, with or, you know, with divine justice or a Libra, probably a Libra here. Um, and it's time. It's time to make a decision. It's time to do this. It's time to have this happy ending. And I just feel like the only thing here that doesn't feel so happy is this king of wands just kind of floating around okay now this could be you you might be on the fence about your passion about what gets you going here but i feel like for most of you this is someone else let's see what the ocean has to say with the whispers of the ocean oracle here but so far this seems really positive Yeah, this is like apocalypse, end of the world, end of the old world, and the beginning of a whole different one. Yeah, see, she was under the ocean. She was a mermaid. It's time for her, look at how this one is swimming upwards, it looks like. Completely different life. Completely. Through divine justice. Through an inheritance that you deserve. Now, this inheritance doesn't have to be money. It can be this new life 
this new spiritual life itself could be your divine inheritance. And what that will do is it will bring you an abundance of joy and a harvest and everything that you wanted. Oh, wow. Dancing in the rainbow. Break free from whatever you feel is holding you back. Express happiness. Find out what you truly desire. Okay, so desires are passions. Okay, so we've got this king of wands. I feel like... You know, this could be you just, you're ready to go or to leave and, you know, and just let go or you, you're just kind of on the fence here, okay? So this is saying break free from whatever is holding you back, whatever is keeping you on the fence. Or if this is some other person hovering over your new uh, journey, don't worry about it. Because what we've got here is you're breaking free from this burden, okay? Bottom of the deck here, we've got gentle moderation take your time pressure from others or yourself can be released by renegotiating what you were trying to accomplish right you don't have to rush you don't you may feel like you do have to but you don't all right let's see what the uh, legendaries uh, legendary ladies have to say please don't forget to like and subscribe also comment. I love your comments. Share my videos. That's, that is something that I am just so grateful for. Um, I love seeing all my new subscribers and followers. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. You can't have channels without viewers. So thank you for being here with me. All righty. Desire. This is about your desire. What do you want? What do you want with all your heart? With all your fire? Oh, Shoshiketsu. Gratitude. This is what's going to help you. Okay? Be really grateful. Um, you know, if, if you have a hard time with gratitude, just be grateful that you're alive. Right? Be, grat be grateful for everything. Be grateful for this beautiful earth. Be grateful for the clothes on your back, the food in your belly, your shelter, everything. The butterflies, the trees. This will help you understand your desire. All right. Let's see what the moon has to say about all this. Dancing in the rainbow. That just makes me feel like chakras are being balanced here. Oh, balance with justice. Yep. I'm being shown how her sword goes right down into the center of this um, scales here. And I just feel like this is solid. I don't know. What is, what, hang on here. She puts this div divine justice in your life. This is someone who is solidly grounded. Oops, sorry about that. All right. I just feel like this person knows what they want. All right. What did we get? We got, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries, okay? So, yeah, it, it's time. It's time. That's what I hear all the time when I see the, the judgment card. It's time to make that decision. It's time to um, see what has come from all of this, okay? So it's time to take this action and go on this journey. Don't be on the fence. Uh, expect a powerful change. Look at how this looks like rainbows all behind this, this uh, new moon eclipse. This is powerful energy here, guys. Powerful change. 
Nothing will come of this situation. So what I got from this is that if this is somebody that you're worried about, nothing's going to come of it. Don't worry about that part. Okay. Now let's see. Goddesses. Can you tell me, maybe what I'm getting here is what is this nothing will come of this situation? I, I, I feel like for some of you, this is somebody that you might be worried about, but for the others of you, I would like some kind of clarity on it. And I'm going to ask the goddesses for that. The card that comes out is going to help with this nothing will come of this situation card as well, okay? Just remember to stay in gratitude and know what you want. What do you desire? All right, so, yeah, bodies of water. So this has been coming out so much, okay? So nothing will come of this situation. Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. This is, this, she's come out so much for this, these readings this week. Um, so I feel like she's the ocean telling you, go to the ocean. If you can be near the ocean, go to the ocean, okay? If not, find some other kind of body of water, a lake, a river, even if it's your bathtub, or even if there, it's a fountain or something, you know, just be near water because this is going to give you the information um, that will calm you down. I think this is, yeah, this is about your worries. When you go and you meditate toward, you know, with the water, you, the, you calm down. You'll see that nothing is going to come from your worries. Okay, let's see if I can get any more goddesses to come out. Oh, wow, that was heck of fast. Okay, so Damara, guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. What? Yeah. This is about children. Okay, this is something to do with children here. Um, yeah, Cordelia, go outside. You know, I've been getting these two together here. This is, this is saying, go to the ocean, go to the water, okay? You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. This means go to those body of waters. Try to do it outside, okay? If you can't go anywhere outside, yeah, you can do a bath, okay? But maybe have your window open, okay? The, the, um, this is going to give you a lot of answers okay because like I said it's time but this is also time to make a decision okay so if you need to make a decision just know that there's something to do with children here and don't worry well oh, they're saying look underneath your hard work is paying off nothing will come of this situation your hard work is paying off this means yeah you nothing your your worries don't worry about your worries just let them go all right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you at this time. I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I'll see you next time.